What's up traders? This is V Trade and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for SoFi Technologies with the ticker symbol SOFI. Remember that if you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Before we begin, please take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate all those who have already subscribed and liked my videos. Just a reminder that this video is for entertainment purposes only and does not constitute any financial advice. We will start out the technical analysis by going over what I see on the daily chart and potential price targets. Then we'll take a quick look on the weekly chart to wrap it all up. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. I hope you guys enjoy the time with your friends and family or by yourself, whatever floats your boat. And you guys eat um, a lot of food and enjoy the time off. So let's go ahead and start this technical analysis by looking at the daily chart and I'll show you guys how I would be trading this if this was if this was the chart that I was trading from. So the first thing that I would do is mark out the range because prices are just going sideways. It's going right through the EMA and then it um, breaks below it. So this is a telltale sign that we're inside of a range. So you could, as you can see here, prices are have been just going sideways since it IPO'd about a year ago, um, November 30th, it looks like. So it's about a, it's a very um, young stock on the market. So there's not a lot of price action. As you can see here, just going sideways, we just go up and down, up and down. Looks like the resistance level is right at that 2446 and looks like the support level is right around the 1470. So the way the range works is that if prices come off the high, higher side, we go to the lower side. And if we come off the lower side, we normally go up to the higher side. That's just a very, um, uh, simple way of explaining it I mean it's not that simple how it works but that's how you can visualize it since this since we just came off the upper side um, that's why I expect us to continue to the lower side right back down to this $14 and 66 uh, $14.66 level that's where I expect prices to reach does it have to get there no it could find some support anywhere in this market and reverse and then you would have to be looking for longs or something that was set up but if i were if i was playing this um i just realized that hey we just came off the upper side of the range we're most likely going to the lower side of the range we're still inside of this channel as you can see here this channel is working lower and all these price bars are inside of it so i would not be taking a short right now i would wait for the prices to break this channel because we are far away from the ema and i expect a pullback so what i would be doing is i was look i'll be looking to get in a short position so I would probably expect prices to pull back to this $20 level, find resistance at the EMA, and then uh, show a pattern that would allow me to enter the trade with a nice signal bar. And then I would take the trade and then we'll probably get that second leg down, something like that. So that's how I would play it. So my target is this $14.50 or $0.60 level. It's just at the lower side of this range. If we get that short setup, that's what I would be taking. Um, something similar is what happened back here. We shot through the EMA, we gap below it. There was this green bar reversal and then prices gapped up to fill in this gap. And then you can see this massive red bar came inside. So that's where you probably want to be taking the short. Let me see the first entry, second entry. Yeah, you probably want to go short right below this bar. If you're, uh, this would probably set up pretty good with your stop loss above here. And then you ride it back down to the lower side of the range. So that's how I would be playing it. Same thing over here. That's what I expect to happen. Now, let's just say prices do not get resistance at the EMA and right around this $20 level. Then if we get above it, let me show you guys this. Let me erase the drawings that I have on here. So if we do get above the EMA, something like this. Oh, one second. So if we do get above the EMA, something like this, and the EMA is starting to curve back around and we find some type of support, then I'll be looking for a long setup to go back to the upper side of the range. Um, I, don't, I, I don't take shorts right into the EMA and I don't take longs right into the EMA um, generally, but that's how I would be playing it uh, depending on how the market sets up. But I think it's going to continue lower to the, to the downside just because we came off the upper side. If we do get a break outside of this orange channel, I still expect a retest of the lows. So we'll probably get something like this. So, and they'll probably continue lower to the lower side of the range. So that's why I'm bearish as of right now, but it could change at any moment. So let me just show you guys this uptrend that prices were inside of previously. And I'll show you how this played out. As you can see here, all these price bars were inside of the uptrend. And then right here, right before the earnings or the uh, November 10th, 
price it broke outside the channel, but we still expect a retest of the previous highs. And then it gapped up, made the retest of the previous highs and exceeded, exceeded it, found resistance at the upper side of the range. And then many sellers came back in the market to fill in this gap and then continue lower to the lower side of the range. We shot right through the EMA. That shows you that the market structure has changed. And now it looks like we're far away from the EMA, so I do expect a pullback because the market is not going to go in a straight line all the way down to the lower side of the channel, something like that. I mean, there's a lot of drawings on here, but you know what I'm saying, though. It, I don't expect the market to stay inside this channel the whole time. There's going to be a break outside, and that's when you wait for that short setup to go continue lower with the market because that's where I believe it's going. So that's pretty much everything I see on the daily chart. Let's go ahead and wrap this up on the weekly chart. So the weekly chart just shows you guys a summarized view of the range. As you can see, your price is just going up and down, up and down. It's just going, working sideways. It just goes up, down, up, down, right through the EMA. The EMA is pretty flat. So that's how you know that the, we're in a range. If prices were to break out to the upper side just for fun, let's just see where it can go. I'm going to use this as the first leg up right here. And then I'll bring it down to the bottom of the correction. So it looks like SoFi can reach the $31 target if an uptrend starts forming. So that's where I expect it to go. But as of right now, I'm bearish just because of all the signs I mentioned on the daily chart. But if anything changes, then you know where the prices could be headed if we just start trending higher and higher, this $31 target. If we do not find support at this $14 target, maybe they'll come back down to the uh, mid $12 target to stop all everyone out right here especially this person right here underneath these to this tail bar they probably have their stop loss um, one of the buyers a lot of buyers and maybe they want to come back all the way down to the IPO price $10 level so that's where prices can go but as of right now I'm I'm staying with my $14.50 $14 target and then we'll go from there Thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised on what you can learn. Leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also share the video if you want your friends to know about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to, to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time and bye.